Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here to showcase um, how Matt Black's new rack extension device, the Shelob, um, works basically um, and more interestingly. I'm going to show you how the pass-through works on the device. Uh, so uh, to do this, what I did was I created a combinator, I created a 14-2 mixer, and I created a sound source out of Thor. It's a simple running sequence that if you press a MIDI key, it'll, it'll run a nice little sequence. Okay, simple enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click on the 14-2 mixer. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go under Utilities and collect, select Shelob. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip around to the back. I'm going to take the Thor outputs and I'm going to send them to the channel 1 inputs. Okay. And the way pass-through works is um, you can consider it just like an input. However, um, whatever is going into channel 1 will also go into the pass-through. So the pass-through can be used as kind of a fifth splitter. The difference between the input and the pass-through is that you've got a pass-through switch. So if you have um, splits going out from A, B, C, or D, you can quickly turn all four off using the pass-through, on or off. Um, and that's essentially how the pass-through works. So if we send the pass-through to channel one or to channel two input, what you're doing is you can create a group of splits on A to D and then create a group of splits on E to H all using this same um, input source and you can group them on or off. So I can group A to D being on or off or E to H on or off. So I can cross fade between these two groups of splits. And that's essentially the way it works. So in order to showcase this a little bit, let's go under Thor and let's create a screen. Uh, let's uh, take the split output, send it to the input, send the output to channel two, and I'm actually gonna um, send this to B because I need one split to be my original source that goes directly from, um, this is basically like sending Thor to the first channel because you got, a, you got one split that's going directly out. Now let's also under the screen let's create uh, where's my creative effects studio effects yeah okay studio effects let's create a unison device and let's also send that to the input let's send this to the output and the scream is going to get a little loud so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the scream down a little bit and leave the unison down a little bit and now let's turn those on, those three, and let's hear it. So now you're parallel processing the scream and the unison into um, into the mixer, and you're getting a sound of the source, the scream, and the unison all together at once. That's on A to C. Now let's also flip around to the back. Let's create another effect device down here. Let's create an echo. And let's also underneath that, let's create a phaser, just for the heck of it. Okay, so let's send the split from E to the input and then send that output to, let's send it to six and actually not on E, we're gonna do that on F because we still want the original sound. So the original sounds can be on five um, then the F split or the echo is going to be on six, and then the seven split is going to be on the phaser, and the phaser is going to have to have a split going out. So the split is going out to the phaser and then back to the mixer. So now you've got, um, if I can just unclutter this for a second. Okay, so now you've got one group that's A to C, and then another group that's E to, a, e to G. Let's flip it around. Let's turn, those three are turned on. These three are gonna be turned on as well. And then in the Shelob over here, we're gonna take rotary one. We're gonna have that be the fade because we wanna cross fade. And that's gonna be the fade time. Okay, and let's just put that up there a little bit. Okay. And then on button one, you're gonna take channel one pass through, select that, and that's gonna be off or on. Okay, 
So when it's off, you're going to hear the original split. And let's just pull the echo down a little and the phaser down a little. OK, so that's your first group. Now if you turn the pass through on, which let's just write this pass through. Or rather, what this is going to do is it's going to do group A or group B. So now when I press the button, it's going to switch from this group to this group. And that's how the pass-through works. That's uh, pretty simple stuff. And it's, uh, it's a good way, basically, to parallel process your effects. Um, you can also do some other kind of funky things. Uh, for example, uh, well, actually, I'm not going to give you any example because it's going to get to be too long of a video. But that's basically how pass-through works. So uh, again, I'm Rob. And you can come visit me at my site at reason101.net, where I'm going to post a tutorial with all these wonderful videos that I'm doing for Shelob as well as uh, some patches that you're going to be able to download and take a look at and use as a template uh, for your own designs and just to show off some of how Shelob does work. So thanks again, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Bye.